Hey guys, Pepperami here. This week we are starting a what I hope to be a mini series about me learning and making my own chocolate at home. Now this week is episode one and we will be looking at making a basic chocolate bar from scratch using cocoa beans and some cocoa butter. Now to get started you will need cocoa beans. Now there are many different varieties of your beans and the varieties often come from different places. Now the ones that I have are the Criollo variety which is grown in Peru. Now I would have absolutely loved to have got my hands on some actual cocoa pods but the closest I could do was these pre-fermented and dried beans. Now to start you want to weigh out around 100 grams of beans and then spread them out into a single layer on a lined baking pan or baking tray and removing any shriveled beans or dodgy looking beans. Then you want to preheat your oven to 54 degrees celsius or 129 degrees fahrenheit and then put your beans in and turn the heat up to 120 celsius or 250 fahrenheit for around 15 minutes. Then you want to turn the oven back down to 222 Fahrenheit or 50 Celsius and open the door just to really help the oven cool down. And then close the door and roast for a further 12 minutes. Now at this point you should have a really aromatic brownie smell in your kitchen. And then you want to remove these from the oven and let cool for a few minutes. Now comes the fun part, peeling your beans. Now on my trial run I did actually hand peel all of my beans and as you start to remove the dry outer crispy shell you'll be able to see these beautiful looking beans inside with these nice cracks in them. And then as a side note you can indeed save the shells and use them to make a cocoa tea just by steeping some of the shells in some hot water and then scooping out or using a little tea diffuser to remove all of the cocoa shell. Now there is indeed a easier way to peel your beans. You can crush all of your unpeeled beans and then either gently blow or use a hairdryer on a cool setting far away from the pan to blow out all of the light shells. Now the crushed cocoa beans are indeed cocoa nibs, this is exactly where they come from. So if you've had cocoa nibs before, they are just basically the crushed beans and it is, in all honesty, chocolate in its rawest form. Now once you have shelled all of your beans, you can start the grinding process. Now I used a spare unused spice grinder we got for coffee and then we didn't grind any coffee so it's just a unused spice grinder. Now you want to weigh your nibs before grinding as you want to find the rough percentage for your chocolate. Now I had around 80 grams of cocoa nibs after shelling and removing some of the dodgier looking beans. So adding 20 grams of sugar would make it a 80% dark chocolate bar. Now if you want less dark then you can go for a 70% nibs to a 30% sugar and so on and so forth. But I wouldn't go too far below 70%. Now you want to add your sugar to the spice grinder or blender first and blend until you have what resembles powdered sugar. Now most powdered sugar will have an anti-clumping additive in it which is why I recommend using granulated sugar and turning it into powdered sugar yourself. Then you can add your nibs and grind. Then soon you will have something that looks like coarse cocoa powder for hot chocolate. Then if you keep grinding you should be able to see it starting to get glossy and almost wet looking. Now at this point it really wants to clump together so you may have to use a spatula several times to scoop it out from under your blades and just make sure it all gets really well blended. Now ideally you want to keep on blending until you have a thick liquid. Now chances are your blender won't get it much smoother than this. And in chocolate making factories they have giant vats with steel or stone wheels to get the chocolate ultra smooth. And unfortunately I don't have £250 to spend on a kitchen sized one of those. Now if your chocolate gets to a point where it refuses to get any more liquid and it's still quite chunky, 
you can add in some cocoa butter. Now you can either melt this before or you can add it in and melt it all together. Now this is going to loosen your mixture up and make it a lot easier to grind. But I really do not recommend adding any more than 10% of your chocolate's weight as extra cocoa butter. Then you want to keep on grinding and then if it's still refusing to melt you can put it into a microwave safe bowl and melt in 10 seconds bursts until it is nice and liquid. You do not want to over melt this. Now I have this generic chocolate bar silicone mold which you can get on Amazon, Wish or occasional baking shops and then you just want to pour your chocolate into the mold. Now as this is untempered that is something for another video later in the series, tempering chocolate. You can place this in the freezer to set it for around 30 minutes to an hour, as you don't want to place this in the fridge as moisture and chocolate do not mix. Now, once your bar has set, you have your very own chocolate bar. Now, this is a lot smoother than my trial bar, as I did grind it in the spice grinder for a bit longer but not as near as smooth as a chocolate bar from the shop. Now, your homemade bar will be a lot coarser in texture than a shop brought bar, but you will be able to taste those subtle flavors of all of the beans that you won't necessarily get in a generic chocolate bar from the shop. But you do lose the smooth texture and quote unquote normal chocolate. But anyway, that wraps up episode one of making chocolate from beans. As always, I hope you liked the video. If you did, let me know down below with a like and a comment. If you are new here, feel free to subscribe for free weekly cooking content. I'm not sure when part two of this is going to come out, but I will hopefully see you all again next week for possibly something non-chocolate related. Thanks for watching.